our simple view is if it's smart and it's connected, we want to make it run best on Intel. And that means as everything becomes smart and connected, so from the Internet of Things all the way through servers, as they become smart and connected, we want to be a part of that. We want to drive that technology. Now what we do is we, we develop core uh, capabilities. So like RealSense, right, which started on the PC, or our, our CPU capability, it starts on the PC, and then we're able to fan it out and use it across. And that's what I tried to show last night, is that RealSense, the same module, could be used from a drone to a futuristic PC, uh, and it could be across that spectrum. Uh, so Intel not spreading itself too thin then? There have been critics who have said that. Yeah, I don't think we're spreading ourselves too thin. In fact, I think we can drive even broader with using that same core technology approach. Maybe you could just spend a minute telling people who don't know what RealSense is, what it is and what it means to sure. Intel. So, so RealSense is, is basically a set of cameras that, that include the ability through um, infrared and other depth sensing capabilities to, to see everything with a depth perspective. So not only can I see you, but I can get a good measure of how far away you are and what's behind you. And I'm basically breaking up the world in very thin layers. And that's what it does, is it takes all of those thin layers and puts it into an image. Uh, and it, it allows us to, to do a lot of things around um, what, what can you do with depth. Now that I know I can change focus, I can measure distances and prevent myself from running into you, I can do all kinds of things with that. Wearable still remains a big area of focus. We ha you had Oakley on stage um, yesterday, so talk about where you think you are in the wearable strategy. Our job is to create silicon and technologies that our partners can do, then go and create and innovate with. And that's what you see, you know, you don't see a lot of products from Intel, you see a lot of products powered by Intel in the wearable space. And so what I want to do is go get great partners who, who innovate and innovate differently than Intel, like opening ceremony. I mean, the, the Mika bracelet is something that's truly beautiful. I, women tell me they want to wear it whether it's on or off, right? That's the wearable you want to have. It's something you want to wear and it has this functionality to it. And that's what we're going to create. So that's why we've taken partners like Opening Ceremony and Oakley and Fossil. These people bring that, that capability to us. So tell us what we're looking at. So this is the product we announced last night, which was Curie. And um, we put it in a button just to really be a form factor to just show people what they could, how they could innovate and how they could create. But, but it's really much smaller, and it, we can make it in almost any form factor. And, and the idea here is, again, let it, give this to our partners, let them go invent, let them go create with this, and let's see what they do. Um, I want to switch tack and talk about another big announcement you made yesterday, and that had to do with diversity. So we took diversity from a project that HR or, or some other part of the organization owns to saying that improving our diversity, improving our representation of women and minorities is, is part of our doing business. And, and so like bringing a product to market, so like bringing a new technology to the marketplace, fixing the diversity issues, bringing inclusion into the workplace, we're treating it just like one of those, in which case then you set goals, you tell publicly what you're going to do, you invest in that technology or that problem set, and you set managers pay to their performance of that. It's how we solve problems. And so we decided to just solve this as a problem that we would do. We are going to put the smartest brains that we have on this problem. We're going to be inclusive in how we go about this problem, right? It's not just us. You, you saw the Reverend Jackson at our, our speech last night. Uh, we've got a lot of allies to help us go solve this now. Is Satya Nadella, the CEO of Microsoft, one of your allies? Have you had a discussion with him about it? I actually have had a discussion with Satya, and, and, and he's 100% behind this, yes. Well, it was a big year for Microsoft and diversity as well last year. I think you know one of the luxuries, I guess, of having a job like this is that you can you can have some per level of personal agendas. And, and absolutely, I have two teenage daughters. I want the world to be different for them. I want them to have uh, a, an absolute equal chance. And it's all about you know your opportunities and chance. I have, I've had great opportunities and, and great chances, so to speak, uh, in my career, and and I want them to have that same list of, of chances at least, and then they'll make of it what they want.